today. Um, it's a beautiful day and it looks like the entire weekend is going to be really nice weather. Uh, it's surprisingly warm and feels for the first time like proper spring. Uh, so I'm very excited to be out. So this is actually going to be my first bike packing trip of the year. So this is the bike I'm running today. It's, uh, it's my gravel bike. I got a bunch of supplies in the back here, uh, some clothing, uh, the food and uh, uh, some cooking stuff. And here uh, on the top I have my, my tent um, in this frame bag, uh, which I made myself last year. I have uh, uh, some tools, um, my actual stove and the gas canister um, and some other random stuff. Um, and here in the front I have my sleeping bag and liner, um, I got two water bottles uh, on the fork, um, I got a small snack bag up here, um, and some uh, like electronics up here, and uh, I got my, uh, my aero bars, clip on aero bars on today, just for some comfort and some varied hand positions. So today I'm, um, I decided to go out and explore a bit in the, uh, to the east of, of Stockholm, uh, in the direction of Nacka. Um, I'm actually going out to Jyvöö. Um, right now I've done 30 kilometers. Um, Okay, I managed to stock up on some water and get some, some food and some snacks for, for the evening. And then I uh, kept riding a bit until I got to these uh, smaller gravel roads. So now it's just uh, the last kilometer or so left. Um, and then I have to find somewhere to set up camp. But I'm starting to really like this, this area and the calmness here. And check out this small lake here. Okay, so I wonder if we can get across this uh, slightly muddy bit uh, over to the other side here. It should be a small 
island or a couple of small islands, I think. It was one of the destinations I had in mind. Uh, they're called uh, Nutholmana. Okay, I think that this settles it. Um, I'm just by the open water here. I found the a way to get to the very, very northern edge of this uh, small island. Um, and it has a lot of sun now, at least in this exposed stone rocky part. And um, I mean, it's just beautiful. So there's actually that other island over there as well, uh, but I don't think that I can actually get over there because there's water, it, it's, it's a proper island that one. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much stuck on this one, but I love this stony, rocky protrusion. Um, and just being this close to the ocean, this is going to be so amazing. And there was a, actually like a, a prepared fireplace up there as well uh, and it's a bit more shielded where I intended to set up my tent so I think that I'll have a, a great evening and a great night there I think this is just like a sort of magical feeling Bet you wish you were here, right? I certainly wouldn't want to miss this. So I've been walking around the place a bit now, just scoping out the layout and uh, the safest and probably most shielded option is to set it up sort of here by this tree. Uh, fortunately I have a pretty small tent um, so it should work. Okay. I got this two-person fly, uh, Big Agnes Fly Creek uh, HVUL2. Um, it's very lightweight. It's like one kilo, and it's uh, pretty spacious and nice for one person.
So here's a bit of a close-up view from all sides. And this side is particularly loose here. But I don't think it'll, it'll matter. Um, it's extremely unlikely that there will be any rain or anything today. Let's open it up and check inside. Yeah, at least I need to make sure that the stakes are properly in the ground. And here we go. It's a tent. So yeah, that's how I'll be sleeping tonight. And now I'm gonna try to prepare for for a fire and uh, for some food. Yeah, I think that this might work. Uh, a few more of these and I might get a decent fire going. So there's actually a lot of this entire trees that have fallen in the wind. It looks like there are some broken off branches here that I might be able to snag. So yeah, this entire branch here has broken off, but it's a little bit too big. Uh, I have my saw with me. Uh, my silky gomboy 210. Uh, this makes short work of anything like this. So I'm just gonna saw these off. There we go. And this one. Check that out, pretty clean cut. It looks a little bit wet in one end, but it'll be fine. This is pretty old, but pieces of this might work. long ones like this and bring this entire piece here okay I think I got everything I need now to set up the fire um, I got a few mixed branches of different sizes I got the fire pit I'm just gonna clear it out of some rubbish uh, and uh, then I need to cut all this up uh, split the big ones, so I got some work ahead of me. Okay, uh, that should be good for this step. Now I'm just gonna try to cleave these into smaller pieces. Okay, so I have my trusty Moga uh, bushcraft knife here. So I'm gonna use this to try to cleave these into smaller pieces, at least half pieces. So I just
Okay, there we go. I prepared a little bit here. So I've built basically a flat uh, surface here that I can build a fire on. So in my little fire starter kit, I have this uh, fire steel um, that I can make sparks with. Like that. Uh, and I have these uh, wax drenched cotton pieces, basically that, uh, that I can actually easily set fire to. So this should catch on pretty easily. If I don't ruin my platform here. There we go. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of this grass, put on top here and hope that it catches. It seems to be doing that. Let's see if this actually takes. It's starting to make the good fiery noises now, so I think that's a very good sign. So yeah, my thinking for food today is basically that I have one of these um, freeze-dried meals that I'm just gonna, or dehydrated meals that I'm just gonna heat up and use as the main course. Uh, then I bought some mushrooms, um, a pepper and some marshmallows. Stove is running, um, trying to boil water. This meal actually requires a lot of water, so it'll take a, a minute or so. It's starting to get properly dark out now. Um, the sun has definitely set. Um, but I had these little camp lights from BioLights that I remember from my USB power bank that I set up here uh, to light up the fireplace a little bit. So now I can actually sit here and chill for quite a while. Okay. This should be ready to eat now, I think. So let's see if it's good. I don't think I've tried this flavor before, but I really like this Firepot brand. So this is a risotto, a mushroom risotto. I mean, it looks pretty, pretty standard for dehydrated meals, but, but it actually smells really nice. Mmm. That one is actually quite good. I like it. This meal is starting to reach its end now. I got some some final mushrooms and a piece of pepper here. Just finishing up. And then I'll head to the warmth and coziness of the sleeping bag. Hello, good morning. So it's almost 6 a.m. Um, and I've had a pretty warm and cozy night in the sleeping bag. So the sun is up, it's not really warm yet, um, and there's still a bit of a cold breeze. Um, but it's really beautiful in the morning, with the sun so low on the sky and just illuminating everything.
the hell about this view now? So, uh, it's um, getting close to 8 o'clock and I figured that uh, I would go for a short walk around this tiny island. We're actually quite far, quite high up here already. You see that? Wow. Getting to a good deal of open water here. And the sun is actually feels much warmer here because it's not it's not nearly as windy on this side as where I set up camp. I mean this is just Incredible, so amazing. And just check out that other side as well, the mainland, I guess. Okay, now I'm literally at the very southern end of this. And you, look, there's just water everywhere around me. This is beautiful. So, I guess we start heading back. 
I'll try to stay out by the water as much as possible on this time. I could stay here all day just admiring the views. Almost looks like a small small beach down here. If it was summer I would totally go for a swim. Okay, um, I just packed up my my camp and uh, moved up here to this little mini beach area. Um, it's a huge difference. There's almost no wind at all here. It's too hot, uh, even with just a base layer on. Um, but yeah, I think it'll, it'll be nice. I'm gonna try to find some trees to set up my hammock. Uh, and then I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. And here's all my stuff back on the bike, mostly. I kind of a mess now. You know what? I think this is gonna be just fine. All right, it's getting close to uh, 12, uh, to midday, um, and I figure it's about time to have lunch.
Okay. Uh, we got some simple pasta here, and the water is ready. That's gonna be delicious. Okay, now I'm just gonna leave that there for eight minutes. Okay, uh, it's almost one o'clock now. I've had my lunch and I've packed everything up um, on the bike. So now I'm ready, finally ready to uh, get back on the road. I'm gonna have to walk across this little island back to um, to where I came from. Um, and then once I hit the trails on the, on the other side, um, I'll actually start riding and I should be able to ride pretty much continuously home. Um, this direction isn't going to be all that interesting, to be honest, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so here it is, the passage over to the mainland. And now we're getting back onto the slightly bigger roads at least. And it'll, it'll basically be roads like this non-stop for quite a while now. At least I'm riding towards the sun. That feels pretty good.
okay um, it's like 2 30 now I've made it almost halfway um, or maybe a little bit more than halfway home actually uh, it feels really like su summer today uh, the sun is just beating down and uh, uh, I don't know what happened with that wind um, it's yeah there's no cooling effect at all right now so it's pretty sweaty but I'm making good progress and um, yeah I'm enjoying it um, but yeah I don't think there will be much much interesting stuff to see uh, on the rest of the way home it's basically just back through the city anyways thanks so much for watching um, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope to bring out more I hope to bring out more bikepacking content like this uh, now during uh, during the warmer half of the year uh, so yeah stay tuned for the next one